about 1.5 million people die of TB every year worldwide. That's twice the population of greater metropolitan New Orleans area every year. What we've been doing over the last 10 years is developing uh, models that can study TB and can study TB HIV co-infections uh, using our monkeys over here. So we vaccinated monkeys with either BCG, the conventional vaccine, via the pulmonary route, or our mutant vaccine. And, um, and then we challenged these monkeys with tuberculosis at a dose that would, would um, produce active tuberculosis in these monkeys. And what we found was that the set that was given to, that was given our mutant, not only protected disease, were protected from disease more than the unvaccinated monkeys, but that set was also protected significantly more than the ones that received the conventional BCG vaccine. This is not an end-all solution. There's still more things to be done, even in monkeys, before this mutant can, uh, or this strategy can then uh, translate into human clinical trials. It's really important to put an end to this. Um, and um, I think that research that's going on um, in various laboratories right now around the country, and in fact around the world, uh, where people are now beginning to collaborate and integrate human-like animal models with clinical research, with basic research that's going on in, in various schools of medicine, uh, we will probably get to the top of it in the years to come.